Hello, my name is Rosa Maria Kostic Cisneros, and I am part of the Independent Theatre Hungary today. I am sitting down with Alex Fifea and David yeah. Schwartz, um, both who were parts in some capacity of You Didn't See Anything. So if both of you could first introduce yourselves, who you are um, and the, your role. At, yeah, so just who you are and, and where you are right now as well. That'd be great. Thank you. Alex? Yeah, um, my name is Alex Fifa. I'm an actor, a social and political actor here in Romania. I, uh, I was uh, involved in the production of the, this, uh, you haven't seen anything, uh, the performance you've just watched back in 2015, together along, uh, with my, uh, with the director David Schwartz and uh, Catalin Rula the musician. Well, uh, it's kind of, uh, it's been a long time since then. We're in, now in 2021. And I wish that the realities that uh, were presented uh, in this play were somehow different or things would have, got, would have gotten better by now. But Unfortunately, I think uh, this, the, 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 the theme of the play, the structure of violence and uh, the, uh, the violence of the police towards uh, the most uh, unfavored by uh, society all over the world has gotten not better, but worse. Well, uh, back in 2015, I was uh, just starting in this social and political uh, theater thing, and it was David who practically introduced my, myself in, in, uh, into this uh, world. And now it's like, after all these years, I'm still doing the same thing. I'm getting involved in production of uh, social and political plays. I still document. I still involve uh, uh, anything uh, f from acting and uh, directing, documenting, and producing this place. Um, yeah, this is on short what I do. I also am the uh, um, co-partner in uh, the Art Hub Bucharest. That is uh, the platform that we use for uh, our uh, all of our grants and all of our pro theater productions. And uh, yeah, I'm a co-manager there. We're also involved with this in uh, more than one uh, European project regarding Roma theater and uh, social and political theater. Yeah, I think I just took the word uh, <laughs> like for granted. Yeah, thank you, thank you for that. Also, David to present himself. Yes, David. Um, my name is uh, David Schwarz. I am a theater director, a playwright, a producer, and also a theater theoretician uh, based in Bucharest, uh, Romania. I am uh, active in uh, socially and uh, politically engaged uh, theater for almost 15 years now. Uh, and I am the co-founder of uh, the political theater platform that uh, we have uh, developed uh, in Bucharest uh, since uh, 2013. Um, I am most uh, interested in uh, the relation between uh, theater and uh, politics uh, and uh, how, in which way theater can uh, explore, uh, analyze, and reflect upon uh, the contradictions uh, of, our, uh, of our society and um, the struggles in the contemporary uh, Romanian uh, society. Uh, so uh, the, the performance, You Haven't Seen Anything, which uh, uh, we have developed uh, together with Alex and with Catalina Rula, should be seen uh, in this, uh, in this uh, frame uh, of uh, documenting uh, and reflecting uh, upon uh, the struggles uh, of the most uh, 
vulnerable uh, and uh, uh, um, social uh, social uh, groups uh, and um, I am also I think it's really important uh, this uh, relation between uh, the precarious work uh, uh, ethnic uh, discrimination poverty and uh, the violence that uh, the state uh, exercises uh, towards uh, towards uh, the most uh, towards some of the most vulnerable workers uh, because uh, as uh, you may have uh, uh, understood uh, from the from the performance um, uh, uh, Daniel the hero of the of the story was actually a precarious uh, worker he was a uh, parking attendee he was uh, working in an informal uh, uh, job uh, without any kind of social protection and uh, also uh, he was uh, a Roma poor uh, coming from a poor background a Roma teenager coming from a poor background and uh, we can see how this uh, intersection uh, of, uh, of oppressions and of uh, intersection of uh, vulnerabilities uh, is uh, actually it can uh, in, room, in uh, our local context but i think also in many other countries worldwide can uh, lead uh, not only towards uh, systematic uh, discrimination but even towards uh, death and so can each of you describe your role within the play were you the director or yeah so can you speak a bit about that um, okay, I will. I will start. Mm -hmm. So the first, uh, uh, first it was uh, Alex. Uh, Alex uh, proposed me to uh, to do the to try to document and do the and uh, try to document uh, the the uh, story, the situation of this uh, murder uh, of a uh, Roma park attendee uh, by in, in the police section in the police station uh, in in Bucharest. Uh, uh, the murder took place in 2014. Um, so uh, uh, after the after the uh, this happened, uh, we decided that we want to do a performance about uh, about this, and uh, we started to document together um, not only the context but also the trial that was taking place uh, during the year 2014. So we went. Uh, uh, to the court, uh, we took, uh, we, we uh, yeah, we uh, were, we, we witnessed uh, all the uh, all the development of the trial uh, and uh, the testimonies of the police men and women and the testimonies of other witnesses. And then we also uh, uh, contacted uh, the family and the friends, uh, the acquaintances. Uh, um, uh, of uh, Daniel and uh, so this was a research process which was done together by uh, Alex uh, and uh, and myself uh, and uh, following this uh, process we started the, to structure the material and think about the development of the script um, and this uh, we have uh, done together but Alex has written uh, uh, most uh, most uh, most of it so Alex worked as an author and I worked uh, if you want as a dramaturg in the German sense in the German uh, understanding a uh, meaning of the of the word editing uh, the text uh, giving suggestions uh, and uh, supporting the development of the text <coughs> and uh, then uh, uh, based on the on the script uh, we uh, rehearsed and developed the performance in which uh, Alex has the leading part uh, and uh, I did the directing, the directing part. Thank you. Alex, did you want to add anything to that? You're on mute, Alex. <laughs> Yeah. Actors and actors yeah. and the technology don't go along very well sometimes. <laughs> well, it was like David said. Of course, it was the documented part that was the most uh, impacting one for me because it was like um, maybe the second time when I did this. Also, before one year before we were doing this, uh, you were born in the right place. Another play uh, which uh, David directed, and that was about uh, migrants that uh, um, live in Romania and uh, um, it was the first 
the second time for me and the most most uh, direct uh, jump, so to say, in this uh, documenting process uh, for writing place uh, the place. And it was um, it was this, and it was David's directing. And I need I, I, I that's why I first uh, uh, went to him to ask for directions because very David is a very good director. And uh, then it was uh, the personal part that I uh, kind of introduced in the play this uh, whole part in the beginning, which where I present myself. Uh, very, um, how to say it, um, it involves me in a very personal level as an actor and also as a half Roma actor because I am of mixed uh, ethnicity. And um, this was my, my personal, uh, if, it, if I can say so, a tribute to dedicated to the life of this young man that got uh, to be killed in such dramatic circumstances and very unsettling circumstances. And uh, what we must say, I think, uh, one more thing would be the involvement of uh, the Carousel, which is um, uh, an association that uh, helps the vulnerable where they most need it, that is in the streets. And there is uh, Marian Ursan the head of uh, Carousel, who personally got involved and uh, he acted as, uh, so to say, an, um, um, comes with David, uh, a, a, facil facilitator. a facilitator, a facilitator, a facilitator, which made uh, real people in the streets that we interviewed to trust us, to trust us with their stories and with their side of the story and the family also, because uh, Marianne in Carousel works with them from like 20 years, 30 years uh, before, you know, and so it helped us a lot to, to really talk and get to be in the, in the same, uh, on the same level, level with the, the real people in the streets. And that's really powerful and quite um, beautiful as well. Um, and were they able to see the fi the finished or the final product of and sharing of it? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. We included in the first uh, the first uh, representations of the play. We have included with within the small budget that we have. It was the joke, like <laughs> of a budget, but it was back in those days. It was what we needed, what we strictly needed in terms of production and of paying ourselves for the period that we worked. So yeah. that, yeah. yeah. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, yes, um, that's what I wanted to add, the, 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 the importance. And the first thing was, was that we had uh, an open air uh, representation of the play, which involved a lot of people, a lot of police cars attending the, the, the show, like from the corner of the street. And uh, a lot of uh, these people got to see, it was about their friend, the person they, they, they already knew for years in their community and it was very very uh, how to say powerful and the, the relationship with the public has been maybe one of the most intense that i've uh, witnessed in my in my experience of acting so to say yes yes and is there for either of you is there a memorable moment of any of the the performances um, that you've put on, whether it was in that open space or in a more kind of traditional theater, is there a memorable moment that you think, wow, okay, that was that really stays with me? Um... I think the or whole many, play, maybe I, there are many. Yes. <laughs> no, I really, I really cannot choose one, yeah. or or because in the moment the play starts, the relationship that I 
have with the public is is, is at very high uh, levels every single time. We yes. we really played this this play a lot of times, yes. and uh, all along these years. And now we are uh, reintroducing it in the theatrical circuit uh, within this Roma festival that I uh, will start soon here on uh, August thirteen. Okay. Thirty. Yeah. So, David, if you yes. want to add something. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah, as Alex uh, says, it's a really, the, uh, the performance has a really a strong impact. Uh, so, uh, uh, and the people get quite emotional. So there is an Alex as well, because it's uh, he, uh, part of it is uh, his own perspective and it's his own uh, uh, experience. Uh, so uh, the emotion is quite, is quite high at mm. every performance. But mm. uh, I would refer to this, uh, this particular representation when we, uh, when, when, when we, show the, we showed it uh, in the street. And I think there are several uh, very interesting things there. First is uh, that, uh, Yes, the park King attendees, the colleagues of, uh, of Daniel could attend uh, uh, the show and the atmosphere was really different and also, and always, and of course there was also this, uh, let's say middle class audience, uh, that's the usual uh, audience of the independent theater here in Bucharest. So uh, this mix uh, of uh, working class, uh, poor working, uh, impoverished working class, and also middle class audience, it's quite, uh, it's quite interesting and it's something you don't really see often, unfortunately. Um, and then uh, also there was this aspect of the police because uh, of course, we had we had an authorization uh, uh, from the uh, from the city hall uh, to uh, to show it in public, uh, and uh, the police were supposed to come and uh, because they come at every uh, organized uh, event, a public event in a public space. Uh, but they came, uh, but uh, they didn't want to get really close. Of course, they knew what it was about, mm -hmm. uh, but they actually. Uh, followed it from from a distance and uh, but yeah you could hear everything it was with microphones it was quite loud uh, um, and uh, this uh, proximity of the police uh, and also of, uh, and uh, this uh, the people uh, feeling uh, in a safe uh, with us uh, there safe to watch this uh, this performance that talks about police uh, violence yeah. uh, it was a uh, quite uh, a quite uh, interesting uh, experience because you actually had uh, all um, or several of the of the actors of the people involved of the categories involved uh, in the show and the uh, categories that are usually in conflict uh, and you could see uh, and you could know that each of them perceived the show in some way, and um, mm -hmm. uh, it was quite a, it was quite a powerful uh, quite a powerful um, experience. So if I would have to name one, I think this uh, this would be it. Wow! Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And my last question: um, Can you talk a little bit about the title of the work? You didn't see anything. I, did that come first? Did that come after? Um, is there? Oh, it was uh, it was part of the testimony that uh, the 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 author of the crime held in front of uh, the jury, well, and in front of the colleagues, and it was only one of their of the colleagues in the in the police uh, sec, in the police station that admitted to have seen him uh, to have seen beating uh, daniel and uh, she she said uh, in her testimony that he said these these exact words uh, addressing them his colleagues and he said uh, you haven't seen a thing it, it was you are with me, it, it stands for you are with me, we are together, we are covering one another and you must cover me. Mm -hmm. So ev everybody will get out with this. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately it wasn't like this. The, the testimonies went on and on. And in the end he got convicted and got a seven year uh, sentence, okay. which is uh, probably due by now. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's the story of the title. Okay. But of course, the title sort of has two meanings because there is this direct meaning uh, that involves the policeman, uh, this 
the the the, the killer. He's, uh, he he uh, advised his colleagues to keep quiet. Uh, but then there is also a sort of uh, the title is also maybe addressing uh, all of us because uh, we all each one of us. Uh, passes by in the street uh, towards uh, all kinds of examples of violence, uh, uh, direct violence or maybe indir indirect violence. Uh, but, uh, and uh, each one of us in order to uh, be able to uh, survive and to uh, keep uh, his mental or hers uh, mental health uh, in the society in which we live in has to uh close uh, their eyes uh, and uh to pretend that uh, we are not seeing what's going on around mm. us yes so, uh, those were that's why we uh we chose this particular line uh, okay that's why, that's why we chose this particular line as a title of the performance okay great well, thank you so much. Thank you both um, for sitting down with, with, with us um, and sharing and offering some insights into the work um, to framing some of the before um, of, uh, you know, and, and, and also letting us know some of your, um, yeah, some of the, the, the way you felt about the work and, and seeing it staged and shared. So that was really, um, re I'm really grateful. Thank you for that. And if there are any, if you have any final comments or anything you'd like to share with anyone, with the rest of us <laughs> about the work? Um... Well, it was a time when uh, we kind of considered the place where we first uh, staged this was um, in a, public gallery it wasn't even a theater then then it moved to a theater and that theater Makaz bar theater ceased to exist and then we didn't have a play where to perform it regularly so we kind of ha had to close it down mm -hmm. and i'm a, i'm so happy it's a real personal uh, thing of joy for me that i can re-enter this play uh, on real stage in front of the public and also i'm very happy for every uh sharing experience like uh, the how run doesn't uh i'm gra very glad that the play still gets to be seen and uh, gets to be understood by by people mm, mm, so yeah i want to i want to thank you for this occasion also yes thank you thank <clears throat> you for you know because it's it's quite powerful the work I think personally, but also for the community and just for where we are, you know, we started the conversation, you saying, unfortunately, we haven't really moved too far from this reality. And, you know, with that, though, there's also more reason for this kind of work to keep happening, to keep being seen, to continue to be made and shared. So thank you so much for making such important work and for putting, you know, we have a saying in Spanish, dejarte la piel, you leave part of your skin, you know, part of yourself in it. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.